Good morning, I am Tracy Spence with your newscast. This newscast is brought to you courtesy of BioLife Energy Systems. Come join Belivin. Call them at 800-875-5433. USA Credit Repair, the key to beautiful credit. You may call them at 800-786-1330. Cruising with the case handler, a show on personal injury and immigration, weekdays 9.30 a.m. on Saturdays 7 p.m. and 12 noon on Sundays. And now for the news in details. Professor of Public Health and Epidemiology, Peter Figueroa, says with Jamaica set to receive the first COVID-19 vaccine doses in February, it must move quickly to ensure all the elements for distribution are in place. Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton informed the House of Representatives on Tuesday that Jamaica will receive its first doses of the Oxford-AstraZeneca vaccine in two weeks instead of April, which was initially projected. Professor Figueroa said this is good news. Speaking Wednesday on a current affairs program, he said vaccinating frontline healthcare workers should not be difficult. However, the challenge will be to reach the elderly, especially those who live alone. He also commented on the advice from Associate Professor of Microbiology at the University of Massachusetts, Dr. Wilmore Webley, who told reporters that administering the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine to persons with fragile health or who have a short time to live would not be wise. The Director of Pan American Health Organization, PAHO, Dr. Carissa Etienne, has warned the health, social, and economic effects of COVID-19 are disproportionately affecting women and is calling for attention to what she says are the gender disparities in the pandemic. She said while men are more likely to become ill with COVID-19 at the start of the pandemic, those trends are reversing. Dr. Etienne also notes... Women who make up 70% of the world health workers have faced significant personal risk to care for COVID patients, even when they had little protective equipment. And she says women have become unemployed amid COVID-19 control measures. She says countries must respond to the gender dynamics of the outbreak by ensuring women can access the health services they need, gender violence hotlines, and sexual and reproductive services. Dr. Jean address, Etienne addressed a news conference on Wednesday. Meanwhile, dancehall entertainer Tommy Lee Sparta is scheduled to stand a trial on gun-related charges on March 24. The date was set on Wednesday after a judge rejected a bail application by his attorneys. The Office of the Director of Public Prosecution also opposed the application. Tommy Lee, whose given name is Leroy Russell, was charged in December last year after he was allegedly found possessing an illegal gun and ammunition during a police operation in New Kingston. In sports... Nicholas Anderson will become the first Jamaican to officiate in the FIFA Cup World Cup as Club World Cup as he has been assigned a second round encounter on Thursday. Anderson will be an assistant referee for the Al Duhail vs Al Halali match in Qatar. Anderson will be working alongside referee Mario Escobar from Guatemala, Humberto Panjoja also from Guatemala, and Drew Fisher from Canada. This will be the second FIFA tournament that Anderson will be working in after officiating at the Under-17 World Cup in Brazil in 2019. And that is it for the news. This newscast came to you courtesy of BioLife Energy Systems. Come join the living. Call them at 800-875-5433. USA Credit Repair, the key to beautiful credit. You may call them at 800-786-1330. Cruising with the Case Handler, a show on personal injury and immigration on weekdays 9.30 a.m. on Saturdays 7 p.m. and 12 noon on Sundays. On behalf of the news and production team, I am Tracy Spence to have a good morning.